Hello there. On this video, I'm going to guide you step by step through the process of creating your preview link, and then we're going to share our link to Twitter and also to Facebook. So click on the add link at the top and you'll arrive at this page and you need to enter some information. So I have in my text document, uh, my tweet, uh, my preview link, I don't have that yet. I have my affiliate link, which is this right here that I created on ClickBank. I have a preview title, a preview description, and I do also have my image. Now, if I just move this out of the way a little bit and I scroll down, you can see where all those things will appear. So our tweet at the top, we don't enter that until we get onto Twitter or of course our post on Facebook. My preview image will appear here my preview title just underneath and the description just under that. And all of this area, the image and the preview title and description is all clickable. And all of that will forward to my affiliate link, this link right here. So we now need to start transferring this information in. So the link to URL, that's the place that people are going to go to when they click on your preview. So in our particular case, that's our ClickBank affiliate link. So if I just bring that back up, and I will grab the ClickBank affiliate link and I'll copy that and I'll paste that in. Now at the moment you can see it says ClickBank. It's a very obvious affiliate link, but when we've put it into the system, it will hide the affiliate link so it'll just look like a normal link and people are not gonna steal our commission. So that's our link. We now need our preview title. So we'll pop back over again. And I've already got that. So how to use the law of attraction to win a car. So that's going to be our preview title. I'll copy this. As I said before, you just grab all of this stuff from whatever website you are linking to. Normally it's going to be the heading of the website or maybe some bullet points. Now I want to grab my preview description, which is this right here. And I'm going to copy and paste that into the description box. Now, you may have noticed I've not copied the tweet across. We don't need that yet, but I do need my preview image. So I'm going to click on the choose file and I'm going to select the image that I prepared earlier and upload that into the system. Now, the most important thing about these images is the size and the aspect ratio. This image is 800 pixels wide and it's 420 pixels high. So I'm going to click on the choose file button and I know it's inside my downloads. And this is the image that I'd like to use. Uh, so that's all ready to go. Now I'm gonna submit this and it's gonna add all of that information into the database. And it's given us this link right here. Now this link I need to copy. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna copy it. Now I'm gonna go back over to my uh, text edit and see where I've got my preview link. That is what I want in, in here. So in place of these question marks, I want that, so that's my link. Uh, but I actually want it directly after my tweet. So I'm gonna put my cursor after my tweet, make sure I've got at least one space in there, and then I'm going to paste that in, like so. So this is now my tweet. It doesn't matter that the text is two different sizes. That will correct itself when we pop it into Twitter. So all of this at the bottom, uh, the link, the title, the description, and the image, we don't need any of that anymore. All we need now is our tweet and the link that we've just copied from here. So I'm now gonna pop over to my Twitter account, first of all, and I'm gonna post a new tweet. And all I'm going to do is paste that in. So I'm gonna grab all of this. So I've got my tweet written out and I've got my link so I'm gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste it straight into here, like so. Now, I don't want to add an image to this. If I was to click on the little button to add an image and then upload that image, what would happen? The image would show on my Twitter account, but when people clicked on it, it would just enlarge the image to the full size of the screen. That's completely useless to me. I want people to click the image and go over to the website I'm promoting. So don't add an image, just type out your tweet and then put in your link. So I'm gonna tweet that, and you'll see that now is grab the image that we made on the other video. It's put our tweet, check out this uh, crazy experiment to win a car using the law of attraction. You can't see any link there, so no one can see this is an affiliate link. We've got the image that we created on the demonstration video, and we've got our title, and we've got our description. Now the entire of this box 
is a link. So when I wrote on the image, click here to discover how, they can click right there and it will go to the website. And I've also got that in the description, click here to discover how. The same thing again. This is a call to action telling people what you want them to do. So if you click anywhere at all on the image or on the, uh, the preview underneath, it's going to take you to that website. And of course, it is hiding your affiliate link. So that's going to go over to the website and then the person can buy the product. And if they buy the product, then you'd make some money. So I'm going to close this down. I've still got that on my clipboard, my tweet. So I'm now going to go over to my Facebook and I'm going to where it says what's on your mind. I'm just going to click in there and it's still on my um, my clipboard. So I only need to paste it. So same again, it's it was my tweet and the link, or in this case, my Facebook post and the link. Now, if you want to test this to make sure it looks okay before it goes live on your Facebook account, you can change this. So you can you can change your, your privacy settings to public or just friends or whatever. So I've got mine on only me. So nobody will see this and I can make sure it looks right. And then if I'm happy with it, I can post it again and change it to public. So there we go, I'll just post this. Again, do not add an image. You have got the options here. I could click this button to add an image to this post. If I do that and people click the image, it wouldn't link to that website. When Facebook and Twitter see this link in your post, they automatically get the image that's connected to that link from my server. So you don't have to worry about hosting the image, uploading it. You don't have to worry about clicking on these buttons to add it to your Facebook post or your Twitter account. Just put in the link that we give you on twit.fyi. So if I post this, it works exactly the same as it did in Twitter. And you'll see again there, We've got, um, I mean, on this view of my profile, it looks quite small, but if you were viewing my profile large, then this would be the full width of the feed. Uh, so we've got the image in there. We've got the information of the, um, uh, the description and the title. Twitter and Facebook truncate that uh, description a little bit differently. So one gives you a little bit more than the other one, uh, but it's always a good idea to write more than what's going to be truncated because people can read half a sentence and they've got to click to read the rest. What you want people to do is to click on this. So you need to put your call to action, click here to discover more in there. That's going to increase your click through rate. And also this dummy play button, this is not a video. It's an image that is static, that is made to look like a video because I know that that play button is going to increase the number of clicks that I get. So just as exactly the same on Twitter, I can click anywhere on this image or on the link down at the bottom, the, the preview, and it's going to go to that website and nowhere on here at all is it revealing that this is an affiliate link for a ClipBand product, which is going to protect your commission. So I'm just going to click on the picture of the car and you'll see just as before, it's going to go straight through to the, uh, the website where someone can buy the product. So there you go. I hope you found this video very, very useful. Before I go, I will say just a couple of things that are really, really important. If the aspect ratio of your image is not correct, then rather than seeing what you've got here, if I just go over to my Twitter, where are we? You would get something like this. It would crop the image and it comes over onto the left hand side really small and then your preview appears here. Now this is actually the way that any link to YouTube will show on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, if you get the aspect ratio wrong, that's what you would see. So you can see here I'm linking to this book. Uh, and I've got this beautiful, great big preview, a picture of the book, some information. I've got underneath there um, a, a little bit of preview with my title and description. Nowhere does it show that this is an affiliate link or anything like that. And all of this is clickable. So again, you're making very, very large images that really make your tweet or your Facebook post stand out. And everything is clickable. If they click anywhere on this image, then they're going to go over to the link. It's not just going to make the image big, which doesn't really help you at all. So I hope you have found this video very useful and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.